Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today, we are going to compare two movies, The Fly from 1986 and An American Werewolf in London from 1981. That's right, a fly versus a werewolf. Anyway, those two movies are extremely similar. Let's start off with this. The fly starts out as an experiment gone wrong. You have the character uh, Seth Brundle, played by Jeff, uh, Jeff Goldblum, and I, I have the uh, pages pulled up here for each uh, movie. And the fly, you have Jeff Goldblum playing the character of Seth, we'll just say Seth. And in American Werewolf in London, we have David Noton or Naughton or whatever playing David Kessler. Okay. We so we have two movies that star two men, right? Alright, let's go on. Now we have in the fly we have Gina Davis that plays Veronica. I don't want to say the last name because it looks kind of vulgar. So we'll say Gina Davis plays Veronica. And in this one we have we have the nurse uh, played by Jenny Ogter Og Og Gunter whatever. Uh, she plays nurse Alex Price. So we have two leading men and two leading women. Looking pretty similar so far guys. And the fly. We have, of course, an experiment. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen these movies by now. We have an experiment. Gone wrong. It's, a, it's an experiment gone wrong. Uh, the fly gets in the machine. Uh, their DNA and all that ends up intertwining. And out pops Jeff Goldblum out of the machine <laughs> with the smoke billowing out. Now he's the fly. Little do we know what's to come with the character. Now, what do we have over here? We have um, the character David, uh, played by David. Um, him and his buddy are traveling over in Europe, London, whatever. And, well, what happens? He gets bit by a werewolf, attacked by a werewolf. So now we have him slowly uh, turning into a werewolf. So we got two leading men, two leading women. Both men experience uh, uh, horrible, horrific accidents in their lives that are going to cause even more horrific changes. Both men instantly uh, capture. Uh, the attention of their female counterparts, um, which is Gina Davis's Veronica and uh, David's nurse Alex Price. Instantly, they're, they seem madly in love. It doesn't take any time. That's some of the quickest romance I've ever seen. But uh, you have all these similarities pop, 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 popping up for each movie. And now let's get into the outcome. The outcome is not good for either person. So the outcome for the fly is we all know that Jeff Jeff Goldblum's uh, character turns into the fly and not a cool fly, <laughs> not like Buzz Off or something from the Masters of the Universe. Nothing cool like that. Nothing like Ant Man or or the tech or anything cool like that but we're talking about a fly and it's grotesque and that's some uh, extremely good uh, practical effects uh, so the outcome for the fly is not good it is gruesome uh, he has uh, his death scene with Gina Davis but played by 
uh, played by Gina Davis, uh, the, the character of Veronica, blows his head off because he is a grotesque creature and he's begging her to, uh, to kill him. Then on the other hand, you have American Werewolf in London where David finally gets uh, cornered in an alleyway and uh, a mob opens up shooting on him and killing him. So, both movies have leading men, leading women, very quick romance, uh, a horrible turn of events that turn both men into something uh, uh, other, otherworldly, uh, you know, monstrosity, monsters, uh, things that you couldn't imagine, and then both men, both uh, monsters, men, uh, end up seeing the exact same tragic death. Uh, shot, killed, destroyed, ended. Anyway, which movie do I like better? Easily. It's American Werewolf in London. I've probably watched it a hundred times. I've probably watched The Fly five times. You know, maybe five times. Maybe. Somewhere in there. Both good movies. Both classics. Both, uh, legendary uh, in their story and uh, what they brought and the, uh, the special effects practical effects um, both brilliant movies and I recommend watching both of them uh, they're, they're easily uh, top tier movies <laughs> they're, they're, they're up there with the greatest movies ever made so anyway I just thought that might be interesting for you to uh to hear some of the similarities in these movies that I never really thought about before. And you never know, I might try and do more of these. Uh, but the good, you know, the thing is, I didn't have to think of this, it just popped into my head. So now I'm sitting here, I'm trying to think of movies that are similar. <laughs> so, hey, if you can think of any movies that are really similar, throw them in the comments. Uh, if you have anything else to say about this video, about this topic of The Fly and American Werewolf in London, throw them in the comments. Also, check out all my videos. My channel has a plethora of topics. Go into the playlist. I have tons of different playlists with different topics for everyone. This is called Mikey Sun TV for a reason. TV deals with more than one topic. That's me. I deal with more than one topic. Uh, my cycling videos are scattered throughout the regular video section and then everything else is pretty much all in the playlist. Just go in there and I have hundreds of videos. Share, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Help my channel to grow. I would love to see me boost up to 200 subscribers by the end of 2020. That would be an amazing accomplishment for me, guys. So the more that you watch, the more you like, the more you share, the more you comment, the more you push my channel out there for me. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And go watch one of these crazy movies. Ow! Did I just break my hand? <laughs> go watch one of these movies. They're pretty cool. Yeah, good movies. We'll see you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!